go. Now we got a little, little head shake there. There's a flurry on the all the Markhams are all lighting up with fish coming through two little schools. Little activity schools. We've got about four feet of ice to try and feed it up to. We got doubles. <laughs> oh, ah, come on. There we go. Get them started. Nice eye. All right, I got one too. <laughs> That's the way to start. Oh, he's digging, man. That's the way to start off the show, man. Fish and Arneson's Rocky Point Resort in Minnesota's Lake of the Woods. A great destination in all seasons for walleye, saugers, and more. And uh, joined by Mark Arneson on this trip, and he's got a walleye, and I got a big jumbo perch to start us out. Look at that sow belly, man. Beautiful perch there, that's huge. Yeah, a nice, nice walleye too. Mark Arnes and I are fishing in one of the rental fish houses and we're gonna be joined by uh, Tim Hill. He's a charter captain in the summer and this time of year they drive the, the track vans and get the guests to and from. And we're gonna tell you about fishing and the great destination at Arneson and how to catch walleye, saugers and more. Let's get some more, buddy. That was great fish. Good start. Another one on the dead stick. Let me turn and let's see what we got here. Nice walleye. Just on that little little VMC teardrop and you know red is a color that works really well up here. And that's the result right there. Nice walleye. It goes in the frying pan. That's one of the main reasons we come is eaters like that. Make sure you bring a variety of different lure styles and colors for your trip to Arnison's. You know today we started out cloudy and it's already starting to brighten up as the wind blows. Um, we're going to be changing colors throughout the day to try to target different moods and different fish. So uh, rattle spoons are real popular up here. Bring a good variety of those. Uh, I like the Rattler from VMC. Um, different flutter spoons, the Tinglers and Tumblers are great lures. And you don't need much for line. You know, bring some uh, braided line, uh, monofilament and fluorocarbon depending on how you're rigging up. And that's really all the tackle you need for catching the fish up here. A lot of times you're seeing fish on the Markhams the whole time and only every so often you get them to bite unless they're really aggressive. And you get these little flurries of activity and it can be first thing in the morning, be middle of the day, at the end of the day. Oh, looks like a sauger. Yeah, decent sized sauger boy. Did he hit that? That's another one on the dead stick. So you can use two rods in the winter time in Minnesota. So I always like to fish one aggressive presentation, you know, a jigging spoon in one hole and then on the other hole I'll just put down a put down a dead stick. I'll tell you a little bit about more about how we're rigging up like that but just a little guy but he'll eat good. Perfect for the pan. So this is a 24 inch St. Croix Legend Gold medium light rod and I've got suffix monofilament line on there and this is a VMC teardrop. We're using red today. And for these dead sticks, again, this is just a rod that's going to sit still down there on the bottom. I dorsal hook that minnow. So he's just hanging on that spoon like that and put that down right close to the bottom. And then I'll just put it in a rod holder or you can just lay it on the floor of the fish house if you want. And that just does all the action. The live minnow, full live minnow. Just six pound suffix line on there. That's all you need. Got a little spring bobber on the end of that St. Croix. Some people will use a, a, a bobber or a float, a, a similar kind of setup, but very simple presentation. And oftentimes the dead stick will catch more fish than an active jigging presentation, depending on the mood of fish. Way up, 10 feet up. Uh, oh yeah, ooh, nice eye. Really? That thing was 10 feet off the bottom. Is that right? Yeah. I thought I was going to be back into them tulipies that were hanging up up there, but that's why you got to go for it. Just try to figure out what kind of fish they are. That's a nice wall. You leave those tulipies for me. Those are all mine. You can have them, Roger. In our fleet of houses, we run two up to six man day houses, and then we have uh, another fleet of four man sleepers. Sleepers are real comfortable. The drivers take great pride in keeping them clean on fresh sets. Our drivers and our staff are just phenomenal out here. I mean, they move houses, they check on you throughout the day. Just a group, great group of guys. Let's see what we got here. Another one. Now oh, they're still on the screen. Little walleye? Little walleye. Up here on Lake of the Woods in the winter, we have a slot limit. Uh, 
19 and a half to 28 inch walleyes have to be released and you can have an aggregate of eight fish between walleyes and saugers total. No more than four can be walleyes. I didn't even get that one down. It's on its, still falling on the Markham. A little bit better fish. Just forget the kind of a mixed bag today. Walleye, saugers, tulabies, got a perch. Real nice walleye it's looking like. Oh yeah, real nice walleye. And that was cool. Again, another reason to have electronics. I actually saw this fish come up about four or five feet off the bottom and meet that spoon as I was dropping it back down. And I paused the bait, fish bit right away. And we got another one for the frying pan in the Rock Harbor Lodge tonight. As always, great fishing and excellent service up here at Rocky Point Resort. Our track van driver, Tim Hill, put us on some great fish this week. We have a wonderful time up here as always. And what's become our traditional clothes, some fresh fish for dinner in the Rock Harbor Lodge. Mark, if folks want to experience your wonderful winter fishing here at Arneson's Rocky Point Resort, how do they reach you? Well, you can give us a call at 1-800-535-7585 or look us up on the web at arnesons.com. With Mark Arneson and Tim Hill, I'm Roger Cormier. We'll be right back with more Midwest Outdoors. Let's eat, guys.